This video is sponsored by Taylor Brands. How to learn JavaScript fast. Whether you're a beginner or looking to brush up your skills, I promise you this video has got you covered. JavaScript is not only one of the most popular languages in the world, but it is an essential skill that you must learn if you're trying to get a career in web development. And with the rise of JavaScript developers continually rising, learning it fast will absolutely give you a competitive edge when trying to get your first job in tech. By the way, if you don't want to hear my whole spiel about JavaScript, you can check out the timestamps below to fast forward to whatever you actually want to hear me talk about. First, let's talk about why JavaScript is so important. Modern JavaScript now is no longer about building static websites. JavaScript powers everything from dynamic web pages to things like Google Docs, AI, and every interactive website you use on the web today. Plus, JavaScript is one of the languages of the web today, so learning it will of course give you an opportunity in tech. But the thing is, you have to make sure you learn JavaScript well. And of course, when it comes to learning JavaScript, there's two types of people. There's a the first person, when learning JavaScript, their goal is to make sure that they just mark a checkbox when using a tutorial. Their goal is to make sure that they can tell the whole world that they finished learning JavaScript in just a couple of weeks. Or the second person, this is the person you want to be. The second person learns it fast as they possibly can, but before learning it fast, their number one priority is make sure they actually understand JavaScript. They understand JavaScript to the point that they can actually build things with it. So then the question is, which one are you? You see, JavaScript is not easy to learn. JavaScript is a very versatile language. It could be used for front end. It could be used for back end. It could even be used to build mobile apps with React Native. And that is why you want to make sure that you do learn this well. And when it comes to learning JavaScript, learning JavaScript isn't just about learning one language. It's about learning the fundamental programming concepts when it comes to the language. Because once you learn the fundamental programming concepts of JavaScript, you'll be able to learn other programming languages like Python, Java, you name it even that much more quickly. So it's important to understand that when you're learning JavaScript, yes, you want to learn JavaScript well, but learning it really well the first time around will allow you to learn other things even that much more easily. Now, it's essential to be realistic about our learning goals. Learning JavaScript, like any programming language, takes time and dedication. But A, while you're on this journey, don't forget about building your business. Whether you're a freelancer or startup, your brand and professionalism speaks volumes. That's where Taylor Brands comes in. Taylor Brands is a complete business builder for starting, managing, and growing a business. They provide a personalized guide that makes it easy for anyone to build a successful business and combines all the tools needed to do it the right way. They offer everything from branding tools, business documents, a finance manager, much more. So as you're mastering JavaScript, remember to give your brand the attention it deserves with Taylor Brands. And guess what? Taylor Brands doesn't just stop at branding. They got everything you need to streamline your business operations, including LLC formation. Now, let's talk about getting your LLC. Forming it can be the most annoying part, but with Taylor Brands, it's easy and affordable. So whether you're coding away or setting up your business structure, Taylor Brands has got you covered. Check them out in the link in the description today and take the next steps towards building your dream business. Next, what I wanna talk about is setting realistic expectations for yourself when learning JavaScript. Learning JavaScript is not a weekend project. It's a marathon. It's not something that you can learn overnight. It's something that you learn over a couple of years, if not the rest of your career. Setting aside dedicated time, one hour or a couple hours throughout the week is essential to making sure that you stay consistent, that you don't forget what you learn and you continually build upon the knowledge you already have. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and becoming a JavaScript developer will not happen in a day as well. When it comes to learning code in general, it's very important to understand that learning curves varies from person to person. One person might be able to learn JavaScript in a couple of months. Another person might take one or two years or even longer to learn it. But just because it takes you longer or just because it makes you, you're able to learn JavaScript faster than others does not make you better or less than someone else. I think the biggest mistake that a person can make is that when learning how to code, you learn too fast because you don't understand your learning pace. You don't understand how fast or how slow you must take in and consume content to be able to absorb it, learn it, and become a developer. So being able to understand your pace and how fast you should learn or how slow and how much time you should take to learn is important. Now, 
the part I think a lot of people want me to dive into is going into the foundational concepts of JavaScript. There is so much I can talk about when it comes to this topic. It would probably be a two to three hour long video if I did this. So to save you some time, in my Notion, in the link description below, if you subscribe to my newsletter, you get access to the fundamental concepts of JavaScript. It'll give you everything you need to know, the most important aspects that junior developers must know to get a job. So check it out and I hope y'all enjoy it. So let's first go into the basics. And when it comes to the basics, what I'm talking about is I'm gonna go over things like variables, data types, operators, and control structures. You can think of these as kind of like the ABCs of JavaScript. Mastering these four things will give you a solid foundation to build upon. Because once you understand these four concepts, you will eventually be able to understand much more advanced JavaScript topics. So let's focus on this first. So let's go over variables and data types. So variables are like containers that are used to store data values. In JavaScript, we use var, let, and const to declare these different data values. And so it's very important to understand the differences between these three to avoid common pitfalls. Next, let's talk about data types. So variables can hold many different types of data. They can hold many things like strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, objects, special values like null and undefined. Each data type serves a different purpose and knowing when to use each one will be very important when it comes to programming in JavaScript. Next, let's talk about operators. Operators are like tools that allow us to perform operations on variables and values. But again, understanding how to use these different operators is essential for being able to manipulate data and controlling the flow of our programs, right? Then next, what you want to be able to learn are things like control structures, which are things like if else statements, um, the switch statement, which is useful when you have many different conditions to check. You can also have the for and while loop and even a do while as well. And these loops are very invaluable when it comes to running a block of code multiple times, which becomes especially handy when it comes to iterating over arrays or executing a set of instructions when a condition is met. So it's very important that you take the time to be able to understand these different concepts before moving on. Because again, once you understand these basic concepts of core JavaScript, it will make your life so much easier when learning it and in result, you'll learn JavaScript much faster. Last but not least, very important. When it comes to learning JavaScript fast, the biggest mistake that people make is depending too much on tutorials. That is a mistake that I made as a junior developer. That is a mistake that a lot of the mentees that I meet for the first time make, where they're learning way too many things at once. They're learning a tutorial, then going to college and doing all these different classes, and then they're do doing another tutorial and then reading a blog. I think more than anything, what will allow you to learn JavaScript faster than you could ever before is building projects. I know someone who's not even doing any tutorials at all. He's building his own dream project and is learning how to code that way by through failing, using Reddit, using Stack Overflow, using ChatGPT to help him learn fast. Anyway, there's so much more I actually wanted to talk about in this video, but this video is already getting kind of long. If y'all, again, want to have the full concept of basics you need to learn in JavaScript, again, check out the link in the description below. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next one. Peace. By the way, don't forget to check out Taylor Brands in the link below.